In this video, let's create sunglasses, and we'll create them uh, create them in uh, Maya, and then we'll bring them into Substance Painter, and uh, see what it would take to create uh, transparent uh, glass in Substance Painter. So let's start from the beginning. So let's just create something really simple. I'm just going to create a cylinder and. Let's go ahead and create a shape that's something like this for our uh, sunglasses. So I'm just thinking of something kind of basic. And let's press Control D. And now I'm going to combine both of my shapes. Hold on the X key, I can just kind of snap it to the center. And let's turn on our wireframe. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go to my face mode and click Shift to select both of these uh, faces and just press, de press Delete key. Then let's go to Edge mode, double click, hold down Shift and double click, and let's do a bridge. In the uh, bridge settings, let's create, I'm gonna create, let's just do um, three divisions. And the reason I wanna do three is because I wanna create a little arc. So now I'm gonna double click on my edge. Let's go to move tool, self select, and let's pump this up. All right, I'm going to make sure my uh, symmetry is off. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this up a little bit. So something like that should work. So I'm thinking of like sort of a Harry Potter kind of simple sunglasses. All right, so now um, maybe let's turn off our self selection. I don't need it right now. And now what I like to do is let's turn off the symmetry. And if you turn on your symmetry and sometimes it doesn't work, another option you can do is topology. And topology is cool because if you click on the middle, you will see that now Maya knows, oh, okay, so this is symmetrical. So topology is a good way to um, do symmetry as well. Just keep that in mind. And so maybe, actually, I'm going to click on the side here. Let's go ahead and do extrude. And now what I'd like to do is do another extrude this way. And I can still adjust the shape if I think it's too uh, thick. So let's go ahead and do that. Just simply move this in. Let me fix my width here as well. I actually don't mind them tapering in a little because I kind of like that cartoony feel to my sunglasses. And if we wanted to, we can even do something like this. So it's just your own uh, preference of what of what you like. And then at the very end, maybe we can go to the end and let's extrude it a couple times. I can go in my side view here and maybe just let's pull these down. And of course, if we want to, we can also rotate it as well.
All right, so I can always adjust this also once it's on the character. So now I have uh, the looks something like this. If I wanted to, maybe it would be a good idea to also um, holding down the J key. You can see when I press J, my step snap turns on and I can just kind of snap it 90 degrees. And you know it's 90 degrees because in the bottom left of my screen, I can see that it's 90 degrees. Let's go and maybe position these um, glasses a little better. And obviously they are upside down, so that's not good. I'm going to fix that real quick. So the position at this point doesn't uh, really matter, but I just wanted to sort of place them on the middle of my grid. So something like this is all I'm looking for. Now let's create uh, the glass part for our sunglasses. So to do that, I'm just going to grab my cylinder. That's fine. Hold on the J key. And let's go ahead and put it in position. We can scale this a little more. If we wanted to see, we can press this button to give us kind of a X-ray vision. Press Control D. Put this guy over here. Now press Spacebar, and then hover and press Spacebar into the view you want to go into. Hold down the shift key to select both shapes and just kind of put them inside the sunglasses. And if you want it to be more precise, we can always go in this view and again, turn on our X-ray and we can just kind of make sure that it's sort of in the center, which it is. All right, so these are my sunglasses. So now let's quickly create UVs for these guys and bring them into Substance Painter. Um, to create something really simple, like a simple texture. So to create the textures for these, let's go ahead and combine. I'm going to create, um, I'm going to combine all of these. Let's go to our outliner. Uh, we can press history and that's under delete by type history. Let's double click on our outliner and let's call this sun glasses. All right, great. Now let's check out the UVs. Um, you can see that UVs need a little bit of work, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's move all the stuff out of the way and One thing I'm just realizing actually is if I go into isolation mode, I actually don't need any of these faces here because they're not going to be seen since they're inside the frame. So I'm going to select them and press delete. And I do want to see both of these. So let's go ahead and select these. And now I'm going to go to UV planar and let's project it on Z. Press W, move it out of the way. And if you don't have this button on, you can press it to help you realize what still needs work and what doesn't. So you could see the glass is nicely UV'd and now we need to work on our frames. So let's go ahead and select our front for the frame. And we can even do these guys as well. And the back is identical. So let's go ahead and 
might as well grab that as well. So I'm just going to get all these faces and I'm going to do a projection on Z again. Press W to move it out of the way. For the sides, let's project from the top on the Y. And if we wanted to, we can also make a cut. Maybe it doesn't really matter. Maybe we can do one on the bottom here. Go to our UV toolkit and press cut. Now we can unfold this into a line. Let's move it out of the way. All right, so that takes care of the front, the sides, the glass, and the back. So now we just have this. Let's go ahead and grab all of these pieces. And let's look, we need to project that from the X, right? So I'm going to press X, apply. I'm going to move it out of the way. And the only thing we have left is just these um, kind of these sides. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. No, I should have turned on my symmetry, but that's okay. I'm just going to manually quickly select what is left. I think that should cover it. Let's project it from the top and of course unfold it. All right, so now everything is, let's check this out. What is this? Oh, that's the inside of our uh, frame. So let's project that from the top and maybe unfold it. So that will work. All right, so when, now we just need to make sure that everything is scaled properly. So let's go ahead and select one item go to transform and let's click on get pixel density so now we know that this element here is 46 points right so let's go ahead and set, set the same scale to all of our objects so i'm going to click on the rest of these i mean drag and select all of them and then say set all right, so now everything is the proper density. And you know it is because you could see that the grid um, is has the same squares, right? So the same size, um, same size uh, squares are on our sunglasses. So we know that, oh, okay, this is proper scaling for all the pieces, which looks great, right? I don't see any stretching or anything weird. So you know your textures will look nice. Um, so this is perfect. All right, so the last step is going to be go to modify and do a layout. So my settings are as follows. I'm just gonna leave everything as is and say apply. And Maya will automatically pack this for me into the grid. And it looks like it's right on the line, but if you actually look really closely, you'll see there is a space, right? And the space is right here, which is the petting of five. And this is all uh, perfect for uh, substance painter. All right, so I'm gonna close this. And I'm done with my UVs, that was pretty easy. So now let's go ahead and save our work. Make sure you uh, save your sunglasses. All right, next, I just need to simply um, select. And if you turn off your wireframe at this point, you can see how uh, this will look inside Substance Painter. So if you're happy with your um, model, that's uh, great. If you wanted to, you can, of course, go to Mesh Display and play around with some of these settings. You can say Soft Edges if you want it to be uh, soft or maybe 
if you need it to be rigid, you could say hard edges and you could see how that has a different look. So in my case, I would actually like to do a soft edge. I know it's low poly, but I don't really need this to be, um, I don't need to see all those angles. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my uh, sunglasses and export them out. Let's go ahead and give it a name. And we can do OBJ or FBX, it doesn't really matter. I'm fine with um, either one, so I'm just gonna leave mine on OBJ. And now I, I'm gonna press export, but one thing we did forget to do is assign material to this. So by default, if we go to material uh, attributes, Um, we can see that the current material is set to Lambert and maybe let's give it a custom material. So I'm going to right click, say assign new material and maybe let's just use a standard phone material and let's give it a name and again, control S to save your work. And let's export this again. All right, so now let's uh, hop into Substance Painter. All right, here we are in Substance Painter. I'm gonna go to File, New. I'm gonna set my resolution to 2K and I'm gonna say OpenGL because I know Unity 3D likes OpenGL. And I'm gonna say, uh, okay. All right, so here are my sunglasses. And for some reason, uh, Maya didn't name my material, so I'm gonna, I can just always do that here. Let's call this sunglasses. I'm not looking to do anything complex. Let's just simply grab a um, plastic material, so maybe something like this. and I want mine to be maybe kind of gray, like a dark gray. Okay, great, and now let's see what does it take to create these lenses and make them uh, transparent. So to do that, it's actually pretty simple. Let's go ahead and call this frame and let's add another uh, layer and we'll call this uh, glass. Okay, so for our glass, let's just make them funky and maybe they're kind of orangey. All right, so now I'm going to add a black mask. Come uh, here and let's go ahead and select our glass by using the uh, UV selection. So now we have something like this, right? Okay, so now let's actually make these transparent. To do that, you wanna go to shader settings, click on PBR, whatever your current uh, setting is, just so click on that. And then if you come down here, you see that you have something called um, with alpha blending. So go ahead and select that. And once you have the alpha blending selected, you can now go to your glass layer, make sure your layer is selected, and then press plus and do a opacity. And as soon as you set the opacity in your channel, and keep in mind, I didn't bake my mesh, so let's, I was, I didn't take the time to do that. So let's actually do that as well, really quick. I'm gonna set this to 2K and I'm gonna use a low poly and just say bake. All right, so now since we added the uh, opacity to our um, channel, right? If, if you click on your uh, color here, you'll see that you have OP just showing up. So let's click on that. And now what we can do is we can actually dial this down, giving our sunglasses opacity. So you can see uh, right through them and they look more like real 
real glasses. And now, if you wanted to, you can, of course, maybe you just want the color. You don't really need height or normal map. And you can play around with whatever color sunglasses you want to have. Right? So that's how uh, fun and simple it is. Uh, let's go ahead to our roughness and mine are a little too shiny here. Now, if you uh, find any kind of uh, issues with your uh, baking, I don't have it on this side, but this side actually uh, looks kind of strange. So let's see if we can actually fix that. So I'm going to find out where that's actually coming from. So I can see it's coming from my normal map. And in this uh, example, I don't really need a normal map, so I could just turn it off and that fixes it. So that's one way of fixing it. But if you did need your normal map and um, you needed to address this kind of uh, situation, well, all you need to do is just simply if it's your normal map, you want to change this to uh, replace, then create a new layer, go to your project, drag your normal map into place, and let's turn everything else, uh, uh, everything else off and we just have the normal map. And now if I go to my normal map, in my drop down, I can set this to normal. I can add a, another um, layer over it. So let's add a paint layer and then also set this to normal. And now if we just simply paint, we can just delete anything that co is causing us issues. So again, in my case, I don't really care, but I just want to show you maybe this other little trick on how to uh, clean your normal map in case you have some sort of uh, issues. All right, so that's pretty much it. Another thing I like to do is if you go into um, your display settings, you can um, turn on some fun things like maybe something like this. We can turn this on to make it look a little better. We can come up here and play with a couple different environments. And these are uh, ready to go. We can stick them on our character. And, um, and you know, I'm still not happy with how this looks. So I'm just going to delete my normal map completely. All right, so that's that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you. Uh, if you wanted to, you can do a quick render by going here. And let's turn off our background and let's choose kind of a fun background color. All right, and I can use this as my uh, screenshot for this uh, tutorial. All right, one other thing I wanted to show you guys is if you wanted to uh, modify your geometry. So right now I made it uh, smooth. Um, I want to show you how to do that. So let's say you have an object and you painted it and then you're playing around in Substance Painter and now you want to modify it. So what you could do is you could jump back into Maya and here are sunglasses in Maya. And let's say I uh, change my mind. Let's say I want to uh, make my edges look different and maybe I even want to go to mesh and do a, a uh, smooth. So let's say I wanted to change some of the stuff and I want it to be more uh, of a high res look, right? So I can come here and do my changes. Then all I have to do is just simply export my sunglasses, override my other file, then jump back into some Sub painter. And once you're in Substance Painter, all you have to do is go to Edit, Project Configuration, Select, and simply choose the model that you just uh, 
the new one that you just created and just say open. And then to make sure that all of your textures stay the same, just simply say preserve stroke position on the mesh and say okay. And once you do that, you'll see that your mesh will get updated. All right, so now if I go to glasses, I can turn on my roughness and I can actually control the amount of reflection I have here in Substance Painter. And if you hold down the Shift key and the right button mouse, you can rotate your environment, which is always uh, fun to uh, play around. All right, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next video.